Opelika pronounced o is a city in and the county seat of Lee County in the east-central part of the state of Alabama. It is a principal city of the Auburn Opelika metropolitan area. According to the 2013 census estimate, the population of Opelika was 28,635. The Auburn Opelika, LMSA with a population of 150,933 which, along with the Columbus, Georgia metropolitan area and Macon County, Alabama, comprises the Greater Columbus, Georgia, a region home to 501,649 residents. History The first white settlers in the area now known as Opelika arrived in the late 1830s and established a community called Lebanon. After the removal of the Native Creek Muscogee peoples by federal troops in 1836–37, the area became known as Opelika. This word taken from the Muscogee language means, "...large swamp." In 1848, the Montgomery and West Point Railroad Company extended a rail line from Montgomery, Alabama, to Opelika, and in 1851, completed a connection to West Point, Georgia, thus connecting Opelika with Atlanta, Georgia. This line was the only direct rail route between New Orleans and the eastern seaboard. It rapidly became one of the primary trade lines for shipments of raw cotton from southern plantations to the north. The Montgomery and West Point was soon joined by a rail connection to Columbus, Georgia, in 1855, and a connection to Birmingham, Alabama, in 1869. Almost overnight, Opelika became a regional hub for commerce. To manage this rapid growth, Opelika was incorporated as a town on February 9, 1854, then within Russell County. As a result of Opelika's transportation infrastructure, many warehouses for storing cotton and other goods were built. With the onset of the Civil War, these warehouses were converted to Confederate supply depots. In 1864 and 1865, Union raids commanded by Lovell Russo and James H. Wilson attacked Opelika, tearing up the railroads and destroying all government property, including Opelika's warehouses. Soon after the end of the war, the Alabama State Legislature created a new county out of parts of Macon, Russell, Chambers, and Tallapoosa counties to be named after Confederate General Robert E. Lee. In 1866, citizens of the new, Lee County, voted Opelika as the county seat. The town was technically unincorporated after having its charter revoked for abetting the rebellion against the United States. After Opelika received a new charter in 1870, rapid growth resumed. The town nearly doubled in size between 1870 and 1900. During this time, Opelika began to gain a reputation as a wild, lawless town. Soon after receiving the new charter, city officials attempted to scam outside investors by issuing fake railroad bonds. For this, the town's charter was revoked again in 1872, and the town was administered as a police district by the state legislature for the following year. Opelika's downtown was packed with saloons catering to railroad workers and other men. Frequent gunfire in the street by intoxicated patrons resulted in railroads directing their passengers to duck beneath the windows when their trains passed through the town. In 1882, two factions claimed to rule the city government, one known as the Bar Room, headed by Mayor Dunbar, a saloon keeper, and another known as the Citizens. In a riot in late November to December of that year, a dozen men were wounded. In the end, a few were killed. The Citizens had claimed control of the city via the elections, but Dunbar refused to give up. After continued violence, the state legislature revoked the city's charter and the governor sent in the militia to restore order. The legislature appointed five commissioners to manage the city, a situation that continued until 1899. That year the legislature restored the city's charter. Topic: 1900 to present. In 1900, local investors founded the Opelika Cotton Mill as the first textile plant in the city, employing 125 the city was located on the fall line of the Piedmont, where factories were established to take advantage of water power. Attempts to expand the textile industry in Opelika continued for the next three decades. 
In 1925, city officials used a $62,500 bribe to induce executives of the Pepperell Manufacturing Co., now West Point Home, to construct a large mill just outside the city limits. From 1930 to 1970, Opelika continued industrialization, becoming a regional economic powerhouse. In the 1950s, Opelika attracted the nation's first and largest magnetic tape manufacturing plant. In 1963, tire manufacturer Uniroyal constructed a massive plant in Opelika. Around the same time, diversified products revolutionized the physical fitness equipment industry with products produced in their Opelika plant. By the early 1970s, Opelika's industries employed nearly 10,000 people. Between the late 1970s and 2005, nonagricultural employment in the Auburn Opelika, AL, MSA grew at a slow and steady pace. Of the goods producing industries, the metropolitan area has experienced the most change in manufacturing, which peaked in employment in the late 1980s. As many jobs moved offshore, employment declined, but this trend appears to be changing, as the number of manufacturing jobs has risen steadily since 2002. In the late 1990s, Opelika purchased and developed the Northeast Opelika Industrial Park to increase its base. The 2,200-acre park site was purchased with funds from two bond issues, commonly called the 1998A and 1998B issues, totaling $10,280,000. Additional expenditures involved in constructing the Northeast Opelika Industrial Park included $4.3 million transferred from the city's general fund to the Opelika Industrial Development Authority (OIDA) between 1997 and 2000, a $1.9 million Federal Industrial Park Access Road grant, $2.5 million from Opelika Water Works Board and the City of Opelika to sewer and water the park, $12.1 million from the Alabama Department of Transportation to construct an interchange. Additional expenditures were made by Talapusa Electric Cooperative for an electrical substation and by the OIDA for building construction for park tenants. Final expenditures for the land and development of the park totaled about $32 million. Since 1999, two major distribution centers, four Tier 1 automotive suppliers, Pharmavite, the global leader in the manufacturing and distribution of dietary supplements, and most recently Golden State Foods, one of the biggest service providers to McDonald's restaurants, including liquid products, and its third largest beef supplier in the U.S., have located within the park. The site has also attracted serious interest from automakers Audi, Nissan, and Hyundai. In the summer of 2003, the park was recognized as one of the South's best automotive assembly plant sites by Southern Business and Development, an industry trade publication. Opelika has had a related boom in retail development. Tigertown, a 130-acre mixed-use development, is East Alabama's largest retail center with more than 1 million square feet square meters of retail space. Located at the intersection of Interstate 85 and Highway 280 exit 58 in Opelika and home to more than 70 businesses, Tigertown's tenants include Home Depot, Target, Best Buy, Starbucks, Olive Garden, Kroger, Petco, Office Depot, Dick's Sporting Goods, World Market, Hobby Lobby, Coles, Bed, Bath & Beyond, TJ Maxx, Kroger, Old Navy, and more. Opelika's largest employer is the East Alabama Medical Center, which paid around $119 million in salaries and benefits to more than 2,700 employees in 2009. Historic downtown Opelika has had an urban design revitalization in association with the National Main Street, Inc. program. With a compact historic district listed on the National Register of Historic Places, downtown Opelika has attracted a variety of specialty shops, galleries, antique stores, and restaurants. It is also mentioned in a song by the Laurie Berkner Band. With industrial and retail growth has come an increase in population. From 2000 to 2010, Opelika grew from 23,638 to 26,617. Topic: Law and Government. 
Opelika is governed by a mayor council government, with a mayor and a five member city council. The chief executive official of the city of Opelika is the mayor. The mayor is elected at large for a four year term. The mayor has complete executive power in the city, and can appoint and dismiss department heads at will. The current mayor of Opelika is Gary Fuller. The Opelika City Council is the legislative body of the city. It passes laws and ordinances, and creates citywide policy. The City Council is made up of five members, chosen for four-year terms each from one of five districts. Current council members through 2020 are District 1 Patricia Jones District 2 Tiffany Gibson Pitts District 3 Dozia Smith T District 4 Eddie Smith District 5 David Cannon Recently the City Council designated Opelika as a City of Character. The City of Character program is made to recognize, emphasize and in some cases enforce good character throughout the community as well as mandate character training from Character First. There are 49 character traits emphasized. These traits were designated by Bill Gothard. Geography <laughs> <laughs> Opelika is located in north-central Lee County, and is bordered by Auburn to the west. Opelika lies in the southern reaches of the Piedmont Plateau, and straddles the divide between the Tallapoosa and the Chattahoochee River watersheds. Opelika has an elevation of 812 feet 247 meters. Opelika is located at 32 degrees 38 minutes 50 seconds north 85 degrees 23 minutes 22 seconds west according to the US Census Bureau. The city has a total area of 53.4 square miles, 138 square kilometers, of which 52.8 square miles, 137 square kilometers is land and 0.7 square miles, 1.8 square kilometers, 1.24% is water. Topic: Economy. Opelika's economy has shifted away from a traditional basis in textile manufacturing. Since 2004, the city has experienced revitalization in many segments of the economy, including commercial, residential, and industrial activity. Since January 2005, the city of Opelika has announced new industry investments and existing industry expansions totaling $1.178 billion and 3,129 additional jobs. Projects include a 170,000 square foot square meters company named Dewan. Dewan's investment in Opelika totaled $52.5 million, but a $13 million expansion in 2012 brought their total investment in Opelika to $65.5 million. Along with the additional investment of $13 million, they added 32 more jobs, bringing their total number of jobs to 240. Another major employer is Baxter International Inc.'s plant in Opelika. Previously known as Gambro Renal Products, the Swedish-based manufacturer of dialyzers for kidney dialysis made the largest single initial investment in Lee County's history of $165.5 million in 2005. The company changed its name to Baxter after merging with Baxter International, Inc., an Illinois-based company that manufactures life-sustaining medical products including dialyzers, which act as filters for patients with end-stage renal disease. In August 2014, Baxter announced plans for a $300 million expansion of its state-of-the-art facility in Opelika, that will add 230,000 square feet square meters and several production lines, and create an additional 200 jobs. Mando America Corp. has also been very successful in Opelika and continues to grow and prosper. An expansion announcement in April 2012 of approximately $24 million brings Mando's total investment in Opelika to nearly $160 million. Along with the $24 million investment, Mando promised 30 more jobs, increasing the total number of employees to over 600 and making them one of the largest employers in Opelika. In June 2013, Mando announced an additional investment of $35 million for equipment and building improvements over the next three years with plans to hire an additional 67 employees to support the expansion. 
This brings Mando's total investment in Opelika to over $190 million and their employment total to almost 700. With a capital investment of $76.5 million, Pharmavite, a global leader and manufacturer of nature-made dietary supplements began production in January 2013 and created 280 new jobs to Opelika and the surrounding area. As of April 2014, Pharmavite's capital investment in Opelika totaled more than $89 million. In addition, Pharmavite has implemented a third expansion, with a capital investment of $21.6 million and 54 new jobs scheduled over the next three years. On April 19, 2012, a 67-acre site in the Northeast Opelika Industrial Park became a certified food site through Primus Builders, Inc. Ghana Economics, LLC. The food site designation experts presented the Opelika Industrial Development Authority with the certification, stating the site is an ideal location for food and beverage processing, cold storage or food distribution facilities. The certification is aimed to attract new food-based companies to the Northeast Opelika Industrial Park and ultimately create additional jobs for the city of Opelika. During the summer of 2015, Cumberland Plastic Solutions took possession of the former Bentler Automotive Facility and invested over $2 million worth of building improvements and repairs to bring the facility up to par as a state-of-the-art injection molding manufacturing plant. Cumberland is a privately held custom injection molding company employing over 150 employees and supplies local OEMs such as Briggs & Stratton and automotive manufacturers Mercedes, Nissan and BM with various plastic components. On February 17, 2015, Golden State Foods Corp., one of the largest diversified suppliers to the quick service restaurant and retail industries, announced its decision to build a new state-of-the-art meat processing facility using the certified food site in the Northeast Opelika Industrial Park. Mayor Gary Fuller, Secretary of Commerce Greg Canfield, and Alabama Speaker of the House Mike Hubbard made the announcement, along with Golden State Foods Corp. company officials by video conference. The capital investment in the facility is estimated to be between $40 and $45 million. Golden State Foods will create 173 new jobs in Opelika. Wayne Morgan, Corporate Vice President, President Meat Group Golden State Foods, said the company selected Opelika as the site for their new facility based on the strategic location along I-85, the available workforce and the atmosphere of industry and government cooperation. Golden State Foods was established in 1947 and currently serves more than 125,000 restaurants from its 45 locations on five continents. With about 5,000 associates worldwide, Golden State Foods' core businesses include processing and distribution of liquid products, meat products, produce, dairy, and other services, providing a variety of networked solutions for the total supply chain spectrum. The Tigertown Retail Shopping Complex continues to expand its commercial developments with restaurants such as Chicksfilsa, McDonald's, and Olive Garden. Tigertown's most recent additions include Men's Warehouse, Shoe Station, Nukes Eatery, Full Moon Barbecue, and Cookout. A new development adjacent to Tigertown has recently been constructed and offers retail and restaurant favorites such as Tazicus, Chipotle, Burgerfy, and Pizza 120. Opelika is also most recently home to Carmike Cinema's Tiger 13, a 55,000 square foot, 13 screen movie theater. The theater includes the Big D Digital Experience, a theater featuring an 80-foot screen with approximately 580 seats. Opelika has received several honors for its success in attracting new business. In 2004, the city of Opelika's Economic Development Department was named one of the top 10 economic development groups in North America by Site Selection Magazine, a national industry trade publication covering corporate real estate management and economic development. Site Selection again recognized the efforts of the Opelika Economic Development Department in its top group's 2005 list in the honorable mention category. Opelika is located between the Hyundai Kia automobile manufacturing facilities with the Kia Motors manufacturing plant about 18 miles 29 km east on I-85 and the Hyundai Motors manufacturing plant about 67 miles 108 km west on I-85, I-65. 
In early 2006, the Economic Development Association of Alabama named Opelika the top community in Alabama for business recruitment for the year 2005. Opelika also received the number one rank in the South as Small Market of the Year by Southern Business and Development Magazine, a professional publication helping corporations around the country and world in their expansion, relocation, and development decisions. The city earned its number one status through its success in bringing in such companies as Gambro, currently Baxter, Joe Ann Stores Distribution Center, Maxforma, currently Hanwar Advanced Materials America, and Mando Corporation to the community in 2005. In more recent years, the Auburn Opelika MSA has received numerous accolades. In December 2016, the Auburn Opelika MSA was ranked the sixth best performing small city in the Milken Institute's 2016 Best Performing Small Cities, Where America's Jobs Are Created and Sustained report for the third year in a row, and up four spots from the previous year's 10th place ranking. In June 2015, Forbes magazine ranked the Auburn Opelika MSA as the seventh best small city for jobs in the country. In May 2015, Opelika was named one of the 10 smoking hot small market economies in the South by Southern Business and Development. January of the same year saw the Auburn Opelika MSA claim 10th place for best performing small city in the Milken Institute's 2014 Best Performing Cities Where America's Jobs Are Created and Sustained report, rising 27 spots from the previous index. In 2014, the Auburn Opelika MSA was also ranked the smartest metropolitan area in the state of Alabama and the fourth smartest in America according to New Geography's 100 Smartest Cities, an analysis that examines which metro areas are gaining brainpower in the 21st century. In April 2018, Opelika Power Services earned a Reliable Public Power Provider (RP3) registered designation from the American Public Power Association for providing reliable and safe electric services. Service. The RP3 designation, which lasts for three years, recognizes public power utilities that demonstrate proficiency in four key disciplines – reliability, safety, workforce development, and system improvement. Criteria include sound business practices and a utility-wide commitment to safe and reliable delivery of electricity. The 2017 Milken Institute Best Performing Cities Index named the Auburn Opelika Metropolitan Area No. 10 in the Best Performing Cities Annual Index. The Milken Institute Best Performing Cities Index ranks U.S. metropolitan areas by how well they are creating and sustaining jobs and economic growth. The components include job, wage and salary, and technology growth. Dinan Engineering, a company known for the high-performance aftermarket products it makes for cars, has relocated to Opelika, Alabama in April 2018. This addition will bring 13-plus jobs to Opelika. Aerocosta Global Systems Inc. opened in Opelika in April 2018. Aerocosta is a NVOCC, freight forwarding and total 3 petaliters logistics company established in 2002, that provides high-quality and comprehensive worldwide logistics services. AGS Distribution, Inc. is a warehousing and distribution company established in 2013 that provides high-quality logistics services to the major automotive industries. AGS is located at 685 Fox Trail, Opelika. This edition brings 55 jobs to the Opelika community. Topic: Education. Opelika is home to a branch of Southern Union State Community College. Southern Union is a two-year community and technical college offering academic, industrial, and health sciences training. Southern Union is the only two-year college in Lee County, and is the largest two-year campus in the region. Southern Union employs 72 full-time and 137 part-time employees. Its enrollment stands at approximately 2,718 in the Academic Division and 1,600 in the Technical Division. Current technical programs include, automotive technology, business management and supervision, computer science, drafting and design technology, heating and air conditioning technology, industrial electricity, electronics technology, industrial maintenance technology, machine shop technology, office administration, accounting, general secretarial, welding technology, and word processing. 
The Auburn Opelika, LMSA is also home to Auburn University. Auburn University was founded in 1856 and is one of the largest universities in the South. Auburn University continues to grow, with 28,290 students enrolled for the 2017–2018 academic year, and is one of the area's largest employers with 4,830 full-time employees. In November 2014, the Auburn Opelika MSA was ranked number four on www.newgeography.com's list of America's smartest cities. The study ranked all 380 metropolitan statistical areas based on the growth rate in the number of residents with at least a bachelor's degree from 2000 to 2013, the percentage point increase in the share of the population that is college educated from 2000 to 2013, and the share of educated people in the population in 2013. Opelika City Schools is the public school system of Opelika. The Opelika City School System consists of eight schools. There are three primary schools serving grades Prec 2, three intermediate schools serving grades 3 to 5, one middle school grades 6 to 8, and one high school, Opelika High School grades 9 to 12. An alternative learning center houses a variety of programs including a 6–12 alternative program, a mental health association day treatment classroom, the choices program for teen moms, and a dental clinic. Beginning with PREC, students in Opelika City Schools are offered a challenging and diverse curriculum. Individual student needs are met through grade-level curriculum, intervention and remediation classes, as well as enrichment and accelerated courses. All students have ample opportunities for fine arts instruction as well as many extracurricular choices. Classrooms have fully integrated technology systems that include laptops, tablets, mounted projectors, Promethean boards, active slates, and Elmo document cameras. Several sets of Activotes and Active Expressions are available for teacher student use. Opelika City Schools employ highly qualified teachers trained in the latest instructional techniques, including the Alabama Reading Initiative, Transforming East Alabama Mathematics, Team Math, Alabama Math, Science and Technology Initiative, and Science in Motion. Opelika High School's 2014 2015 advanced placement results indicated a 150% increase in the number of qualifying scores achieved by students in AP Math, Science, and English exams. In its first year of program participation, Opelika High School had 63 more course enrollments in rigorous AP classes than in the year prior, and students earned qualifying scores on 45 AP exams. Driving the increases in student achievement is the implementation of the Alabama State Department of Education A plus College Ready App program, which OES began implementing in 2014. The goals of the program are to boost student enrollment and achievement, particularly for under-represented student groups in rigorous app courses and to build a pipeline of students better prepared for college and careers. In May 2012, renovations and new construction began on Opelika High School. The two-year venture, managed by construction firm Robbins & Morton, was a $46 million joint project between the city of Opelika and the Opelika City Schools Board of Education. Renovations and new construction include Classrooms The new building has 87 new classrooms on two floors including seven computer labs each classroom is outfitted with Promethean interactive whiteboard, projector and Elmo document camera Business Technology Labs outfitted with ClearTouch 70 inches interactive display panels that are fully integrated with new educational software Access Computer Lab for distance learning New classrooms include general education classrooms for core classes, science labs, and specialty classrooms for consumer science, health science, driver's education, art, special education, business tech, engineering, publishing, and horticulture general. Bulldog Cafe, 6,800 square foot lunchroom area, new kitchen, kitchen equipment, and serving area. New administrative and guidance offices, including conference rooms and reception areas. Renovation of Main Street. Addition of two courtyards. Redesigned and resurfaced parking lots. Athletics. Bulldog Stadium, installed turf, upgraded and added additional seating, new concession area, new restrooms and new ticket booths, renovated visitor locker rooms Complete renovation of women's athletic facility 
construction of indoor athletic facility 22,000 square feet, includes turf practice field, varsity locker room, equipment room, conference rooms, coaches' offices, and team meeting rooms Renovation of O's baseball field including new seating areas Complete renovation of girls' and boys' PE area including new locker rooms, new restrooms and a trainer room Addition of ninth grade football locker room Addition of wrestling practice room Topic Recreation In August 2005, the Auburn Opelika Metropolitan Statistical Area was named by Golf Digest as the number one area for golf in the United States. One part of the reason this area received this ranking is that Opelika is home to Robert Trent Jones Grand National. The site for the course, which hugs the edge of Lake Sorgahatchee in Opelika's northwest, was described by Jones as the single greatest site for a golf complex that he had ever seen. The course, which is considered to be the jewel of Alabama's Robert Trent Jones Golf Trail, has hosted a number of national tournaments, including the 1997 Nike Tour Championship, the 1998 LPGA Tournament of Champions, and the 2000 NCAA Men's Division I National Championship. Robert Trent Jones Grand National also served as the tournament host for the first PGA Tour tournament in Alabama since 1990, the Barbasol Championship, held the same week as the Open Championship. Another reason that the Auburn Opelika MSA was named the number one area for golf in the United States was for the local public golf courses like Indian Pines Golf Course here in Opelika. Indian Pines Golf Course is an 18-hole public golf course that has a par 71 course with summer Bermuda grass and a bent grass, ryegrass mix in the winter. The Alabama Recreation and Parks Association awarded the Opelika Sportsplex and Aquatics Center the 2010 Facility of the Year Award for cities with populations of 15,001 people or more. The city of Opelika was honored by the Alabama League of Municipalities at the statewide conference in May, 2010. At that conference the league presented the city of Opelika with the 2010 Municipal Quality of Life Award for the city's new Sportsplex and Aquatics Center. In their remarks, league leaders noted, Your exemplary program demonstrates a strong commitment to improving the quality of life in the city of Opelika. Your program exhibits the type of innovation that the National League of Cities is looking to recognize. This $32 million, 75,000 square foot, 7,000 square meters complex is the largest project ever undertaken by the city of Opelika in its 155-year history, representing the first ever public-private partnership with businesses, corporations and private individuals. The idea began with a survey that was conducted in the early 2000s decade that concluded that the citizens of Opelika wanted a family-oriented facility that would offer a wide variety of activities where everyone could have fun together. The city's governing body set out to make the dream a reality, and soon resolutions were passed by the city council authorizing the city to move forward with the plans. On February 21, 2008, after years of preparation and fundraising, groundbreaking ceremonies were held. On August 31, 2009 on schedule and on budget, Opelika's new state-of-the-art Sportsplex and Aquatics Center opened its doors to the public. The Lewis Cooper Jr. Memorial Library in Opelika received the 2018 Silver Standard Award for Public Libraries. Public libraries that receive the Silver Award serve as benchmarks for other public libraries across the state. Libraries are rated on facility, planning, administration and governance, collection, services, technology and several other categories. The award was given by the Public Libraries Division of the Alabama Library Association The city of Opelika opened its first official dog park in April 2018. Floral Dog Park is located at 600 Floral Street, Opelika, Alabama, 36801. The small dog area is approximately 8,000 square feet and the large dog area is approximately 18,000 square feet. The dog park includes double entry fencing, signage, seating, pet waste systems and ADA compliance access to parking area. Demographics 
According to the 2010 census SF1 100% data there were 26477 people 10523 occupied housing units households and 7078 family households residing in the city of the 10,523 occupied housing units, 6,586 are owner-occupied and 3,937 are renter-occupied. The population density was 448.7 people per square mile, 173.2 per square kilometers. There were 11,751 housing units at an average density of 199.1 per square miles, 76.8 per square kilometers. The racial makeup of the city was 50.6% white, 43.5% black, 4.4% of the population were Hispanic or Latino, 1.7% Asian, and 1.3% two or more races. There were 10,523 occupied housing units households out of which 64% had a child under the age of 18 living with them, 45.2% were married couples living together, 20.1% had a female householder with no husband present, and 32.7% were non-families, 28.2% of all households were made up of one-person households, and 5.7% had someone living alone who was 65 years of age or older. The average household size is 2.46 and the average family size was 3.02. Of the total population 27.9% are 19 years old or younger, 13.4% are 20 to 29 years old, 26.9% are 30 to 49 years old, 22.6% are 50 to 69 years old, and 8.3% are 70 years old or older. The median age was 34 years. For every 100 females, there were 87.6 males. For every 100 females age 18 and over, there were 81.9 males. According to 2009 census estimates, the median income for a household in the city was $35,243, and the median income for a family was $47,864. The per capita income for the city is $18,023. Residents with income under poverty levels are 23.1% of the population, while 31.1% of children in the area are below the poverty line. Out of the total people living in poverty, 14.9% are 65 or older. Media Opelika is served by the Columbus, Georgia Designated Market Area DMA. .Charter Communications provides cable television service. Direct TV and DISH Network provide direct broadcast satellite television including both local and national channels to area residents. Opelika Power Services now offers voice and video services to the citizens of Opelika, providing them with a community-owned and locally operated alternative cable provider. Opelika's attention is now focused on technology, becoming the first city in Alabama to deploy a 100% fiber network that offers gig internet speeds. Opelika, Alabama joins only a handful of other American cities that have deployed similar networks. Opelika combines hometown business with advanced technology infrastructure. The town once known for its railroad now has a new locomotive, the lightning-fast internet speeds. Opelika is the only smart city in the state of Alabama, and one of the few in the nation to offer such cutting-edge internet services to its citizens and its businesses. Topic Notable people Mallory Hagan, Miss America 2013 Roger Brown, American artist who was a member of the Chicago Imagists Brad Cotter, country music singer and winner of Nashville star William Louis Dickinson, U.S. congressman from 1965 to 1993 Will Herring, NFL player linebacker and special teams player for the Seattle Seahawks and New Orleans Saints Ladarius Webb, NFL cornerback for the Baltimore Ravens Billy Hitchcock, former Atlanta Braves manager Colonel Robert Robert L. Howard, Soldier of the U.S. Army, Medal of Honor recipient T.J. 
Jackson, former NFL player Fob James, former Alabama Governor Roy Lee Jackson, former Major League Baseball player Rod Lindsay, former Major League Baseball player Jimmy Stewart, former Major League Baseball player John Herbert Orr, founder of Oradio, Ampex Tape that produced the first commercially available audio tape, video tape, and computer tape in the world Rob Penny, playwright William J. Samford, former Alabama Governor Eric Strickland, former NBA player Clement Clay Torbett Jr., 25th Chief Justice of the Alabama Supreme Court from 1977 through 1989. Joe Thomas, platinum R&B recording artist James Voss, NASA astronaut Oscar Hilt Tatum Jr., born April 22, 1934 is an American dentist notable for being the first clinician to perform a sinus lift procedure. Adam Hood, singer-songwriter Gallery equals equals notes <laughs>